Hi, I'm Ignacio Fernandez Llorente. Welcome to Polo In. As I explained in the preceding videos, one of the free ways of escaping your mark is to start a sudden acceleration, leaving behind your direct opponent. The two players are ready and preparing to start a race. Whoever has the ball usually starts from behind and turns on the green light. The opponent who is marking but does not know when the green light goes on. The player with the ball is attacking and uses an explosive acceleration with his horse to overtake his rival and advance alone with the ball. Here you can see two players who are ready to start a race. The red player decides when to start the race he has the ball. Green light. The red speeds up first and passes. In this other example, the white player is racing against two blue players. When he decides, he turns on the green light, accelerates and overtakes both blue players. The orange player is waiting to turn on the green light and make an explosive acceleration to give him those two meters advantage which will allow him to stay alone with the ball and continue advancing forward. In many cases the marker is not ready to race his opponent and it's his fault. In this example the grey player on the white horse is not ready to race his opponent. The red player takes his chance and speeds up if your marker is not prepared for the race, it becomes easier to overtake him and win the race. Here the blue player has a horse which is jumping. He is not prepared for the race and the white player gets the advantage. A key point of this offensive strategy is that when you accelerate, you have to hit the ball long enough to be able to overtake your opponent before hitting the ball again. During this first phase of the acceleration, hitting the ball several times would make us lose time and speed. Here we see that after the attacking player hits the ball, he overtakes immediately his opponent. Here again, the light blue player easily overtakes the black player Let's look at number three. His horse is jumping and fooling around. The orange player is watching and when he sees the opportunity, he turns on the green light and overtakes him. The light blue player goes long, making the player on the right free to take the left turn, green light and acceleration. Here, when the blue player slows down, the white player sees the opportunity to accelerate and overtakes him. The blue player slows down, the green player accelerates. Very simple, right? For a marker, not being prepared can be very small detail. In this case, the white player, who is marking the yellow player, is waiting for him and looking at the right, which is excellent. He is in the correct position. The yellow player goes slightly to the left and makes the white player look to the left. And now the white marker is not anymore in a good position to start the race and the yellow player takes advantage of that and accelerates forward to the right. Now let us see when the attacking player has to make his opponent make a mistake to start a fast acceleration. Here the blue player fakes stick to the left and out to the right is confusing his opponent before he can start his acceleration.
the blue player fakes to go right and goes to the left so he can overtake the red player. Faint, dribble to the left and acceleration to the right. The green player goes. Once again, the marker expects the attacking player on the left and he goes out to the right. Here, the white player confuses the green player. So the white accelerate with a controlled opponent. The blue goes from one side to the other. We are all confused, aren't we? Two red players against the blue. The blue accelerates and leaves both opponents behind. I hope you enjoy Poloin videos. Do not forget to click like. We are here to help and argument the game, to help more people to understand and play Polo. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Poloin is often updated. There are many new videos. You shouldn't miss any of them. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.